now i am going to discuss about abstract function and abstract class then also i would like to discuss about sealed class versus abstract class okay so first let me talk about abstract function a function which contain only declaration or signature and a function which do not contain any implementation or body is known as abstract function okay a function which contain only declaration or signature and a function which do not contain any implementation or body is known as abstract function okay so abstract function should be terminated abstract function should be terminated why it should be terminate means so this function abstract function don't contain any implementation so that abstract function must and should be terminated so and one more important thing abstract function should be override abstract function should be override so abstract suppose let us consider this is abstract function get get data for example then this is abstract function but here it should be terminate i told so here there is no implementation or body it is only declaration or signature that is what abstract function should be terminated like this so abstract function should be override why because we are providing facilities to that abstract function so abstract function don't have any implementation so it can be implemented by some other class okay so that's what abstract function should be always override abstract class means a class which contain one or more abstract functions is called abstract class a class which contain one or more abstract functions is called abstract class to make any class as abstract we need to use a keyword called abstract keyword to make any class as abstract we use abstract keyword okay abstract keyword we can use to make any class so abstract class so here abstract class can contain abstract class can contain abstract functions abstract functions and abstract class can contain non abstract functions also okay abstract class can contain abstract function and non abstract functions also abstract class can contain all members of class that means all what are the members of class already we discuss in previous session data fields constructors destructors events indexers and uh, functions so these are all members of class abstract class can contain all members of class okay abstract class can contain all members of class so abstract class cannot be instantiated directly that means we cannot create object for abstract class so abstract class cannot be instantiated directly that means we cannot create object to abstract class so abstract class can be uh, we need to create one more class or we need to create one more derived class from abstract class to provide functionality to its abstract functions so abstract class can contain all abstract functions one or more abstract functions abstract function means what so a function which do not contain any implementation or body which contain only declaration or signature so abstract class can contain abstract functions to provide functionality to its abstract functions we need to create or derive one more class from abstract class because abstract class cannot instantiate directly so that we cannot create object to abstract class for that purpose we are creating one more class from abstract class to provide functionality to its abstract functions okay so by default abstract class functions are not public and abstract by default abstract class functions are not public and abstract so that whenever you are creating abstract function so compulsory you should mention public abstract here public abstract get data something so it is abstract function so pub by default abstract class functions are not public and abstract so that compulsory you should mention public and abstract public and abstract so this is the details about abstract class now let me discuss about what is sealed class later i'll talk about what is the sealed class versus abstract class so sealed class means sealed class means a class from which it is not possible to create or derive new class is nothing but sealed class a class 
from which it is not possible to create or derive new class is called sealed class for example here i am taking class a here i am taking class a and this is class b class b class b is inherited from class a class b is inherited from class b so if i am making this class as sealed to make any class as sealed we use sealed keyword so assume that class b is sealed class so sealed class definition means okay sealed class definition a class from which it is not possible to create or derive new class that means a class from which it is not possible to create or derive new class is called a sealed class so already class b is derived from class a and here i am making class b is sealed class so that this class onwards we cannot create one more class and we cannot derive one more class so this class is called sealed class so the main purpose of sealed class is to avoid further inheritance so whenever you are doing implementation of multiple inheritance or any inheritance you want to stop the inheritance there itself then you can make that class as sealed once if we make that class as sealed we cannot create one more class from that class so we are stopping the inheritance okay so sealed class means here we cannot create one more class from sealed class so why because this class is having sealed keyword okay there only it can be stopped but strictly remember sealed class can never be act as a base class sealed class can never be act as a base class sealed class is always bottom most of the class in inheritance hierarchy so in inheritance hierarchy sealed class is always bottom most of the class suppose in inheritance hierarchy there are here three classes are there right so like this but sealed class means it is a bottom most of the class this is sealed class so in inheritance hierarchy so sealed class can never be act as a base class that means here not here not you should mention keyword sealed keyword is here only so that we need to stop the inheritance process okay the main intention of sealed class is to avoid further inheritance further inheritance to make any class as sealed so you should use a keyword called sealed class sealed class can never be act as a base class sealed class is always bottom most of the class in inheritance hierarchy now we will talk about sealed class versus abstract class sealed class versus abstract class first point sealed class means a class from which it is not possible to create or derive new class is called sealed class and abstract class means a class which contain one or more abstract function is called abstract class to make any class as sealed we use sealed keyword to make any class as abstract we use abstract keyword abstract keyword so sealed class can never be act as a base class abstract class can be a base class okay abstract class can be a base class sealed class is always bottom most of the class so abstract class is not bottom most of the class okay so sealed class we can create object to the sealed class for providing functionality but we cannot create object to a abstract class for providing functionality to its abstract functions okay so sealed class can contain it is sealed class is completely opposite to abstract class because abstract class can contain abstract functions and abstract class can contain non abstract functions but sealed class can contain non abstract functions sealed class can contain virtual functions okay sealed class can contain non abstract function that is virtual functions so abstract class can co cannot contain non abstract functions abstract class can contain non abstract functions also and abstract functions also sealed class cannot contain abstract functions sealed class cannot contain non abstract functions sealed class can contain only virtual functions so this is the difference between sealed class and abstract class and what do you mean by abstract function and abstract class right